Dreamhouse Biodigesters. This video is a quick one and I'm going to show you a new innovative project that we have undertaken here in Accra. It's about this homeowner who got in touch with us and wanted a specific or had a specific request. Before we go into it, if you are new here or it's your first time on this channel, subscribe for more videos like this one and it helps us grow and continue to serve you these innovative videos that shows how homeowners are benefiting from the use of biodegradable waste biodigesters here in Ghana. So we had this client, I mean a couple, who wanted us to construct a biodigester for their four bedroom semi-detached house here in Accra. After the initial consultation, in agreement with the couple who actually wanted to reuse the wastewater from the Soko pit. That's the frustration that we are going to do from the Soko. They said they wanted to use the water to beautify their garden and vegetation or landscape and they intend to do this in front of the house. They also wanted a separate soak away for the kitchen and bath house, right? For the kitchen and bath house with an overflow pipe into the wastewater causeway commonly known as the gata. So we, we did the initial assessment and then we did the drawings, we did the plan and then we agree on the project and that's exactly what we set out to do. We agree on the large family size biodigester and we were going to do or uh, we did a separate soak away pit this time with a sill bottom to retain the wastewater or retain the filtered water which we attach a pipe at the top to let a pump or a smaller garden hose pipe to be connected into it that's where the water will pass and then you can it can then be used to water the garden or the beautify the vegetation. We did an advanced filtration in this small soak away pit and we put in the charcoal to further remove the scent in case there's still some from the main biodigester bed, which was equally enforced with extra layers of filtration material. Sometimes when you're doing the biodigester and you know that the water is going into the soak hole pit, and then it's not going to be seen, it's going to be buried under the earth surface, you will not really be bothered too much with the filtration. But if the homeowner or the client tells you they are going to reuse the water, then it means that you need to do the advanced form of filtration. And that's exactly what we did for this house. The biodigester industry in Ghana is fast growing and innovative ideas and advances and works are coming up, especially with homeowners who are environmentally conscious and will go at any length to help preserve the environment. And that's what we also stand up for. The reason why we adopted this technology was because we thought that it was going to help save the environment as compared to the traditional septic and manholes that we're using where the human waste was not being treated or biodegraded. But this technology that we are using now is going to help the environment and it's going to save us the trouble of degrading the environment in the near future. So I will so with the so with fingers crossed we are going to see how this is going to work. We have done a few works where we had to put the pump on the or on the biodigester to cope it so that the water can be pumped out into the environment or into the gutter. This is the first time that I'm doing a job that the client or the homeowner specifically want to reuse the wastewater. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to keep you updated on this particular project and how it goes. This is Dreamhouse Biodigesters. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing for videos like this that explains how this biodegradable waste biodigesters work. Leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye-bye.